Heartbeat sound effects are very versatile. They can be used as foley in video games or to increase intensity in your music. They can be used as background pulses and as ambiences in video games as well. And they are also very easy to create. This is the default preset in Vital. We're just going to use the sample section. Let's just activate this. And what we need is a percussive sound. So I'm just going to use LFO1 and draw in a typical shape for a plucky percussive sound. And we can always change this later. But I'm going to drag this on the level of our noise. So we have this sound. I also know that the heartbeat sound is going to be very low pitched and will have very few higher frequencies. So I already know that I want to pitch this sample down. Let's just go to maybe around here and then just browse through the samples. Already has the character of a kick, which is a good basis for our sound. So now we can already head over to the effects section. And as I said before, I want very little high end. I want more low end. So this is pretty much what I'm going to do here. I'm going to cut the highs. I'm going to increase the lows. And before doing that, I'm going to just increase the amount of information that I have to work with. So I'm going to compress the sound and I'm also going to distort it a bit. And now I can start shaping the sound the way I want it. So I'm going to cut the highs and just boost the lows here. I would use an other filter after this just to clean things up a bit more. And this is pretty much it already. The nice thing about using this in trigger mode is that if you just let the same note play, it's just going to cycle through the sample. So you have some very organic variation in this. You can also draw in different shapes in here, of course. So this is a very typical shape that you would use. Depending on what kind of context you want to use it in, you can also add some reverb. And of course, you can also start processing a bit further outside of this. Maybe just to again EQ it a bit and increase the loudness by compressing it. If you want some more variation, you can also use the LFO one here and put it on the pitch of the sample. And this way you can also get a bit more variations by drawing different shapes in here.